Phosphorus levels need to be cut nearly in half from current levels in order to get Western Lake Erie's algae problem under control. That's what scientists from Ohio State told local farmers today at a special forum held in downtown Toledo. The Solutions Forum was hosted by the Ohio Farmers Union. The agricultural advo advocacy group says they wanted to bring area farmers and scientists together so farmers could ask questions and see the latest research on Lake Erie's phosphorus levels. The majority of the phosphorus in western Lake Erie that allows the toxic, toxic algae to grow out of control has been linked to agriculture. The president of the Ohio Farmers Union says many farmers are working to find solutions. There are some really innovative and cut, cutting edge practices that are being uh, discovered and perfected and improved on year after year after year. And uh, some of our presenters inside are, uh, are discussing their uh, discoveries over the last several years. And I really think that there are some innovative practices that can help this problem immensely. Farmers also say they have a financial interest in reducing phosphorus runoff because it would cost them less to fertilize their soil if the nutrients would stay on their field instead of washing away into Lake Erie.